Sad day today. This is the last time I'm gonna be driving my car. Reason being, I just sold it. The only issue is that for me to be able to get the cars that I really want that are better than this car, I have to let go of this one. The car is going to someone that I do know, so I know he's gonna be taking care of it. I'm dropping off the car now at his place, so. It's, uh, it's a bittersweet moment, I can tell you that much. It's been a long day without you, my friend. And I'll tell you all about it when I see you again. Currently taking a hike in the wilderness because today is the first day of snowfall in Chicago or in Illinois, I think. And it is really pretty outside. If you guys didn't know, I'm really not into fashion at all, but I was in Wicker Park one time and I didn't have a jacket and I went to a thrift shop and I was like, damn, they have a Patagonia jacket and that's this jacket. And it looks pretty dope. I'm really not into like buying new shit and stuff and Patagonia's kind of played out now because a lot of frat guys buy it and shit and you just kind of look like a douchebag. But this vintage one's kind of cool. 20 bucks only, so I had to get it. And of course I got a hat. I don't know why I got the hat. And of course we got new shit. Snowfall. We kind of got to do a photo shoot. You crumble me. You kill me with your subtlety. Wash you. Wave goodbye like troubled seas. Time for a random unboxing video. So, I got a G-Shock. Before you guys judge and tell me that I'm a hype beast, it is the most practical watch I can get that I can use when I work out or work on the car or do anything really, so without breaking the bank. Like, this is not some fancy G-Shock or anything. My favorite part of the watch is that Usually G-Shocks are really thick, this part, but this is actually pretty thin, so I don't want it to get in the way when I'm working on cars and shit. The question is, am I able to make this simple watch on this stand look fancy and make it look like a 15 second commercial? Let's try that out. So you might be wondering what I'm doing, but you'll figure it out in just a second. Let me just measure this real quick. All right, so 36 by 12 and three quarters. We are now at one of probably my favorite stores ever. We are now at another one of my favorite stores, Home Depot. So if you guys still can tell what I'm doing, this is a rock climbing training board. And this is gonna be mounted up on the wall. I'm too short, but it's gonna be mounted right there. And I think the most reliable way is to mount this onto a three quarter inch board, which will be mounted onto the wall. And I'm gonna teach you guys how to do that right now. So the first thing you guys are gonna need is a stud finder and a pencil. We are gonna try to find where the two black boards are. There's a spider. You should be using some kind of ruler, technically, but I'm too lazy, and this should work. I actually might need a ladder, because doing that shit on a chair is probably not safe. Because I'm going to drill it up here, and I might put some more down here, but if I drill it at least four to six spots, it should be super sturdy. So the next part is to sketch onto the board where I'm actually going to drill. Alright, I think we got it. Board is sketched. So there's probably a more proper way of doing this, but I mean, who has time to do shit properly these days? Alright, drill, check. Just work. Five, six. I really should be using a table. There's like no fucking leverage here. What if we just... Much better. 
It should be simple enough to just drill into the wall. The only thing that worries me is that that stud finder is not accurate because it's like 10 years old, but I think we'll be okay. As you guys can see, it's up and mounted and uh, it's pretty sturdy. I mean, it's holding my weight right now and I don't think it's going anywhere. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. If you guys like the video at all, please give it a thumbs up, comment, share, like it, whatever you guys want to do, and I will see you guys next week.